But I want to say one more thing about changes of plans and how God is at work in the surprises of our lives as well as in what we expect. I want to say to this church as we start a new year that God is still at work here. It's our job to discern when and where and how God is calling us to step up and be Christ's people for the sake of the world. The wisdom of the Magi is that God is at work in our worldly events. God is at work in the events surrounding the birth and life and teachings and death and resurrection of Jesus. The wisdom of the Magi is that history doesn't stand still. And therefore, you and I need to keep stepping out in faith. The wisdom of the Magi says that we live by grace and that we, perpet- that we participate in a story that is infinitely more full of promise and hope and unexpected twists and turns than you and I can ever imagine. You and I, we like to think that at some point in life we can get it all right. We can stop looking for more. We can stop searching for the divine. But it turns out that the life of faith is hardly ever about being all tucked in and settled down. It's instead a matter of trusting God, that God has plans, and that sometimes those plans call for change and for the willingness to step out in faith, magi-like, and to receive the fullness of the promise that God has made. Well, in a few minutes, we are going to share in the service of ordination and installation of ruling elders. And we will have the elders elect kneel for prayer and for laying on of hands. But as important as these individuals are who are coming forward, ordination is not about them. It's about service to the Christ that they have found. Nobody in the Christian church is a big shot. We are all servants of our servant Lord. Well, the great Christian thinker William Plaker once said, the best way we show our love for the whole world is to love with a particular passion our little part of it. And that's really it. That's what we're here for, you and I, the Magi and the ruling elders, to love our little part of the world because our part is waiting for each of us and for all of us together to get on with the work of Christmas. Or as civil rights activist Howard Thurman liked to put it, when the song of the angels is still, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flocks, the work of Christmas begins to find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoners, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among brothers, to make music in the heart. And so may it be for you and for me to the glory of God this year. Thanks be to God. Amen.